Um, I'm trying to give you a feel for what it's really like here on the Gold Coast, what it looks like, what it smells like, what it sounds like. And the tram is an essential part of these games. It runs right through the heart of the Gold Coast and it takes the volunteers, the spectators and sometimes even the athletes to where they want to get to. It's also part of the legacy of these games, if you like, because although this wasn't built for the games, it's been extended and improved for it. And it is clean. My goodness me, you could eat your dinner off the floor of it. I've never seen a trap. Look at that, you see? You could eat off this. I've never seen anything so clean and wonderful. The introduction of the light rail on the Gold Coast has really revitalised the use of public transport and I think made public transport more fun to use. So within a year of the introduction of the light rail we have seen the use of public transport increase by 25% and that's not just on the light rail, that is across all public transport. It is an incredible milestone in uh, the delivery of public transport and light rail down here on the Gold Coast today. Heavy rail and light rail have connected. And connected not just because it makes sense, but because commuters are telling us that they want a seamless and easy and convenient way to travel around our cities and our region. As our tram exits Surfers Paradise and enters into the Broad Beach area, we've got a new innovative sign which mixes advertising in with the intelligence of when the tram is coming. So people are seeing advertising as they're driving along at that road intersection until the tram comes along and then the board will change and alert people that a tram is approaching and therefore the signals are going to change. There's the biggest single event that we've done in the state and transport obviously very, very important to get people around to the games but also athletes and the games uh, family. Enjoy the rest of your night guys. Light Rail was a star performer during the games. Uh, we were seeing more than 100,000 spectators using Light Rail each day of the games, more than a million over the Commonwealth Games period. A really important mode, particularly in connecting some of those venues at Southport, at Broadbeach and making that connection back to Brisbane via the heavy rail. Kildestown did a marvellous job and it wasn't just the performance of the trams themselves, we had 18 of those, but it was the KD staff on the stations that, that worked really, really well. So marshalling the crowds, making sure that people go on the trams quickly and efficiently. The preferred extension is approximately 6.7 kilometres of dual track in the centre of the Gold Coast Highway, using the existing road corridor with two traffic lanes on either side. The success of that Commonwealth Games is what's made it so easy for our politicians to then introduce the next stage, what we call Stage 3A. A rail system will drop you off on the edge of a city and obviously if you catch a plane it drops you even further out of the city and you have to integrate to come in. The beauty of the light rail is that we travel right through the heart of the city and so we're part of that urban environment meaning that people can get off at the key city centres. There's also an integration into buses so bus services will then take you off into those rural connections and so that's the beauty of having the light rail. Now, now, now.